guys, my name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. A big shout out to my channel members for supporting my channel. Thank you. All right, so it's that time again. Um, I am filming my November 2022 completed coloring book pages. Uh, this, uh, what you see on the desk, is the first half of the books I'm going to be showing you. Uh, I do have bo four bookshelves worth of books. Actually, I have a few more than that, but I consider it four. And so this is two of the four, and then I will... Uh, once I'm done with this, I'll pull the next two of the four, and then we'll finish with my reference journal. So pretty standard. Uh, I couldn't tell you how many pages. It's not something that I track, although uh, looking at the books that are on their side, that's how I keep track of what I've completed. There's quite a few. So um, if you are new, uh, get comfortable. Uh, I generally do a lot of chatting in these kinds of videos, and sometimes they can be nearly or even sometimes over an hour long. All right, so all of that out of the way, let's get started. All right, I do have a completed picture out of this. Now, to be honest, for November, I actually wanted to color quite a bit, but I've been dealing with shoulder pain in my right arm, which is the arm I color with, um, since actually the end of September. <laughs> so I really tried to temper the desire to color versus, well, then I kind of break myself for everything else that I do, including work. So uh, like I said, there's quite a few pictures, but I actually did want to do a lot more. Anyway, uh, the picture I completed out of this is out of Fashion Circus by Carla Magana. And I did this one right here. And if you saw my completed pages for all of my Carla books, you've probably seen this already. Her name is Cognare, that is Italian for coin. Um, this I kind of adjusted just very little by turning these circles into coins for one of Olga Rani's prompts of coin, funnily enough. This is a coloring book that I keep at work, so I will be taking it back. And I deliberately chose the color palette uh, to kind of equate money, gold coins, green for paper dollars, at least here in the U.S. And then you guys know I like to give these girls names, and I like to put some text on the page sometimes. And what her text says is, luxury must be comfortable, otherwise it's not Luxury, and that's by Coco Chanel. And this is done in some permanent markers, Mandalama alcohol markers, Ohuhu, some dual metallic hybrid, and some AR glitter gel pens. And all of those things I actually have at work. I have quite a bit of supplies at work just because I like to color during my lunch break sometimes. So this is my completed page out of Carla Magana's Fashion Circus. For our Pixies Project uh, Complete Area Veil, it's a monthly group color long where she chooses a page every month. And the one that she chose was this one right here for November. Now I will insert a picture because the entire palette for this coloring page was because I did not put a blotter sheet when I did this page and so there was already quite a bit of color you can actually kind of see that here and you can see that here and you can see that here so I tried to uh, just choose colors where it wouldn't be as noticeable that all of that was there and I'm not gonna lie I really like how that looks I don't know why, but I just, I really like how that looks. It doesn't bother me that all of these things are there. You can actually still see it in some of that. I think that overall the picture is very warm. It's very Thanksgiving-y to me. <laughs> so it did take a lot of time because the pages are quite detailed and uh, it is mostly alcohol marker as you can see in this book as many of my amazon printed books are, are going to be alcohol marker but there's also some spectrum sparkle there's some glaze pen there's some dual hybrid metallic so yeah there's a lot of mediums on here oh and then there's also some washi just to clean up the edges but i i this is one of my favorite pages so far in this book now if you are following along 
Uh, the one that she chose for December is this one here. And like some of the other pages, it's a very interesting perspective, but it also seems missing something. And I think because it kind of, you're looking at a weird angle down at it. It doesn't go all the way to the page. It doesn't go all the way here. And there are pros and cons about that. And so I'm probably going to do something where it kind of grounds it on the page and maybe gives it a little bit of a background here. But because it is a weird perspective, it's like you're on a lamp post or something looking down, but at an angle, uh, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to figure that out, but I will do something. But yeah, that's the December page for uh, Pixie's hashtag of Complete Area Veil. Uh, we started this back in July, August, I don't know, but there's only 14 coloring pages in here. So after 14 months, if you are participating in this hashtag, you'll have a completed coloring book. And that's always something to strive for, or at least many people do. I, I don't, but I like participating. <laughs> so that's this, Chroma's um, coloring book, Area Veil. Vale. This book was actually gifted to me for my birthday from the fabulous Miss Pixie. I am happy to say that I finally got to a picture in here. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have been waiting to color in this because of Olga Rani. And not because Olga Rani said, Johanna, don't touch your stuff until I tell you to. But it's more, I like coloring pages that count towards something even though my instagram game it's not even weak it's like negative weak <laughs> because um i'll either vomit on instagram all kinds of posts or it'll just be silence uh but i like just giving myself a reason to finish something but i'm like nope uh, I want to color in something because I actually really like this coloring book. This is a Creative Haven in Tangled Landscapes. The artwork is by Angela Porter. And so even though it wasn't for a prompt, it was actually just for fun, I completed this one right here. Now, when I originally got this coloring book, I thought the way that I would complete these pages are because they do seem to have little vignettes. Let me see if I can show you like this. Like I thought I'd color this and then I thought I'd color that and that and that and that and that and just keep it all like separate just that happened to be on the same page. But the way that I found it to be both interesting and relaxing is I would have a color and I would kind of take it down through the page and then I would choose another color and I would kind of take it down <laughs> through the page. And so to me, it looks very cohesive, obviously, because the colors run up and down, but I also find this just very visually striking. Uh, I don't know if I will try uh, to do little vignettes that the colors don't necessarily match, but for me, um, so basically what I would do is I'd have that one marker and I'd go through all the sections like I mentioned. Uh, this actually took uh, probably a good two or three weeks because I would just base with the one color and then, okay, do I want some over here? Do I want some over here? And then just put it aside, work on something else and then come back and do this. And so I am very happy with the results. It is pretty much just straight up uh, alcohol marker work. I don't really even see much shading at all. Uh, I did try to get a little bit of different tones by just using multiple colors and various things, but otherwise it's just straight pen to paper. And yet I'm still very, very happy with this. So this is definitely one of those coloring books that I have to go into knowing that it's going to take time because I do like some of the easier projects like that Carla Magana took a lunch break. Uh, this took several hours just because of, of the detailed work and as long as I go into it knowing that it's going to take a bit of time then I don't mind putting it away and then coming back to it on another day but yes I finally completed one in here uh, Entangled Landscapes a Creative Haven coloring book artwork by Angela Porter I completed a page out of this mythographic paradise and uh, this was a buddy color with the lovely Amanda D from Instagram as well as Kate's Coloring Haven. Now I don't know that Kate actually ever agreed to do this page. I know that Amanda uh, and Kate and I have a group chat and so yeah, I know we agreed to do it. I don't know if Kate ever did, <laughs> but I'm including her in here just in case she does do it. And this is one of those uh, pages. This is another book that I keep at work that um, I just put 
color to paper and then just kind of worked from there. So uh, I do have some Koi Sakura watercolors at work. So the background is actually done in watercolors. And I really liked the blue and I really liked how because it's watercolors, you don't get a really flat wash you get some texture and so it looks just like a sky to me i left the clouds white i didn't want to do any kind of outlining those hidden objects are annoying so i just ignore them and then the color palette for the i don't know these tulips I don't know what they are, um, but I just wanted something vibrant and bright. And I had actually done all of the greenery first. And so I was either going to go pinks or I was going to go orange. And I eventually decided orange because I always do pink and green. And so I thought this might be interesting to look at. And it was it was quite a bit of work. It took some time, um, especially since it, I only can really work on it during my lunch breaks at work. But I'm very happy with it. And I do like to work in my mythographic books. And that is my key is for all of the older ones that I have, if there are any hidden objects in it, I'm just going to ignore it because to me, I don't even want to look for them. Uh, they just, they detract from the artwork. And so, yeah, but that's my completed page out of this. Uh, any of the channels that I mentioned, I will have them linked in the description box below. Or you can just click on them if you're interested in checking them out. But this is Mythographic Paradise. I did complete a page out of this one. This is Fairy Tales of the World. I don't know who the artist is. I don't have it written down here, but this was actually something I started working on back in September when Olga announced her um, three month monthly challenge of Beauty and the Beast. And I thought this would be a great picture for that because to be honest, I don't know how I feel about the paper in here. I don't like how pencils work in here. And so I will definitely be sacrificing pages um, and using alcohol marker because personally, I know some people it really bothers them if they see something like that where a page is ruined. But because I know that I don't like various um, pencils in here, then it becomes that decision, okay, so do I just avoid a coloring book because I don't like how a medium that isn't going to sacrifice a page works? Or am I just going to enjoy my coloring book and whatever medium that I want, knowing that I'm not going to complete the entire thing anyway? And that's kind of the route that I go with a lot of my books. And I don't know what this story is because I'm assuming it's the Frog Prince, right? there's a frog there's a girl but then she's chained to him and i mean I, I don't know what story that is it's interesting and it certainly kind of ties into some of the uh, adult fantasy romances i've been reading but yeah i'm not sure what this fairy tale is but i thought it was an interesting um page and uh, it did take a while to color, especially since I didn't know what kind of color scheme to put him since the background was already black. But overall, I'm actually really happy with this page. But that's a completed page out of this one, Fairy Tales of the World. I did get this from Amazon Japan. If you are interested in any of the books that I've mentioned, let me know specifically the one uh, either by the name that I've given you or by the picture, and then I can go through my order list and see if I can find it, because otherwise I don't really link things in my videos. Of course, a month would not be complete unless I do a Zan Von Zed, and this was a buddy color with my girl, Deb, and we completed this one right here. And this one was actually an interesting page for me because I started out with alcohol marker work, which is that border right there, uh, but then I decided to use some paint, and I used my Derwent Pastel Paint Pan Set, and it's a bit milky chalky but i actually like the effect on here yeah so the only thing that's alcohol marker is her skin and this outline there and then some of the embellishments in her outfit these colors are basically the colors of the uh derwent uh, pastel set. So there's actually two different colors in the background here of blue and teal. And then there's two different grays that I've used here and here. I did go over this uh, gray here with some glaze pen. Uh, there's this purple color, this pink, this orange, and this yellow. And then even with the hair, 
yeah, I did some just highlighting with some alcohol marker. And I, I really like how this came out. I don't know that I would use that paint pen set a lot because it is so milky, not to the point of like gouache, um, because I think there is still some transparency to it because you can see some of the grayscale on the page itself, but it's definitely less transparent than some of the other watercolors that I have. Uh, definitely check out Deb's Instagram page because her page actually came out phenomenal as well. But that is a completed page out of this one, Ladies of Leisure, I guess the original one, and that is by Zan Von Zed. I completed a page out of this, I'm pretty sure for an Olga prompt. This is the Fantastical World of the Brothers Grimm, illustrated by Forced Diver. And yeah, uh, so this was for Olga Rani's prompt of coin. Uh, you can't, it, it doesn't stand out as much as I would like it to, but it's these pieces right in here. And mostly alcohol marker work, as you can see. And then there's just a little bit of some dual hybrid glaze pen, some, or no, dual hybrid metallic, some glaze pen. There's also some Moonlight Sparkle on here. The Moonlight Sparkle on her dress did not stay the vibrant yellow that I had used, but I still think it looks okay. And this story, according to the back, is the three little men in the wood. And I don't know that story. So I don't know what colors any of these people were going to be. But I did do all the greenery first. I didn't know if this was supposed to be in the snow or if it was like a hobbit house. And so I just chose green because it's just easier to see. And then I just picked the colors to pop of, of these guys. Um in contrast to her. That's kind of how I, I do things. So I, I pick a color and then I just kind of work the colors around that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But overall, I'm happy with this completed page. And that is The Fantastic World of the Brothers Grimm, illustrated by Forrest Diver, but it is a Julia Rivers um, published coloring book. Now this one was a buddy color with my girl Jen of Instagram. And I had seen this on Doodles channel this one and the other one like this I, I i don't see it right now but it's on my bookshelf and this is the very first page i had colored in here and i had seen jen post something i think in october and i'm like oh we need to color in this because <laughs> I mean, it's not like i'm fearful it's just you know i i need the motivation to focus on the one thing because otherwise I'll just read. And that's kind of been my thing. So in Color Me Circus by Nada Ibragimov, we did this two-page spread. And I have to tell you, I loved Jen's rendition, first of all. Go and check out her Instagram. I'll link it below. But um, this is mostly pencil work. Now I'll show you the back side. Any of this kind of ghosting that you see there it's because it was pencil work underneath and dual hybrid metallic on top of that. And that kind of ghosted through. Now I knew um, that I was going to only really focus on this element right here. I wasn't really gonna do anything out here. And the pencils that I used belonged to my sister, these Fantasia uh, pencils from Germany. So, um, I love how these pencils worked on this page and made it looked, made it, <laughs> and made it look kind of sketchy almost. I loved that effect. Um, I don't know that I'm going to use anything but this and then some embellishment work on top of it, but I think that looks really interesting. Now the paper in the other one is a little bit more shiny, so I don't know how that one's going to react to pencil work, but this one I was very, very happy with. And like I said, Jen's page was absolutely gorgeous. And it's one of those books that I'm definitely going to buddy with someone in it. And I'm probably gonna leave a lot of the background blank. And if I'm using those 12 pencils and then just embellishing with some similar colors, then again, it's not one of those books I think I'll ever finish because 
honestly, I'm not interested in, in doing that. But it definitely be cohesive because of the color palette will be the same just by virtue of what I'm using in it. But yeah, uh, I'm really happy with how that turned out. It was a rather quick color. But that's out of Nata Ibramov. Ibrahimov's Color Me Circus. And again, this was from Amazon. Again, another page uh, inspired by Olga. Olga drives a lot of my pages. I don't know my obsession with that. I really don't. But this is Coco Wyo's Find Your Aesthetic. And this was for that same hashtag. Uh, the hashtag was coin or banknote. And so she's got money in her hand right there. I'm in the US, so I colored all of my money green. Although I know in various places around the world, that's may not be a thing. And then... Um, Hers just it was one of those things where I started with her outfit first and then put down her skin, her hair. I just, uh, I, I didn't know what to do because I didn't want to put blue hair. I didn't want to put black hair because that black is already on the page. And I didn't want her to have brown hair. And I thought, okay, well, let's just give her some white hair with some pink and orange. That's fashionable, right? And it's one of those pages where it's not super detailed, but it's detail enough. By the time I got to this mask, I was over it. <laughs> I was just over it. And so this is just mostly, I don't know if I can tell. I think some alcohol marker work, because that's my favorite to do in these Amazon books. And then just lots of glitter on top of it. But yeah, I'm actually really happy with how she turned out. I think she's really pretty. And I did add the freckles. I don't know why, but I've been adding freckles to quite a few of other girls I've been doing this this month. Or last month, this was for November. But that is my completed page out of this one, uh, Find Your Aesthetic by Coco Wyo. Now, of course, I did a couple pages out of this, a Coco's Surreal Fantasy. And I've got several pages marked. Okay, so this one I had completed last year, November, November 2021, as a buddy color with my friend Deb of Instagram. And this was probably, hands down, my favorite completed page thus far in this coloring book. And so I did the page again. And this is one of the few ones that I actually have no problem doing that. And this is the version I did this month with my friend Patty. And I, I, to be honest, guys, I don't know which one I like more. Um, I tried to make her into sort of like a dark mermaid, um, just by way of the colors and the tone. And of course I took the page marker off. So the way her hair was, was definitely more stringy like this, but the way I was holding my marker, I could not, uh, get a fine enough line it kept going kind of thick and wonky and so I just decided to lean into that and then I had uh, this background done in silky gel, gel crayons just the green and it looked okay but it looked also rather plain and so on top of that I did some distress ink stencil work with these bubbles I did black out the fish and then add the skeleton inside of it now um I don't know my anatomy of fish, but I don't think they'd have that many bones like that. But I just kind of made a bone kind of stick where the fins were going. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, but whatever. But I really, really love how she turns out. And so these two pages are still uh, two of my favorites in this coloring book. She's just, she's just so striking to me. That's so pretty. Okay, and then the second page was also a repeat for me. I did this page uh, also back in November with Deb, so November 2021, uh, and then Patty and I did the exact same page, and so uh, I decided to go a little differently with the color palette, because the thing about coloring double pages is I don't generally do it because I've, I've had the fun already, but Ikuko's work is just so interesting to me that I have no issue coloring a page uh, again because then I can get uh, different effects from it. So this was done mostly in yeah alcohol marker and Sharpie. Did look, there's some yellowing. From this page right here which is fine and then this page um it was actually a really quick color i think it just took a, a couple of hours i actually didn't write anything down here uh but i did put some distress ink work back here and then my edges were kind of 
messy and so I did put some washi tape on top of that and then I did her skin and then her hair and then the hat's chosen to kind of tie into the frame uh, but I wanted the hair to stand out from all of the blues on the page and yeah it was just a really quick color oh so the text on here says you matter and the text on here both of these were stickers from this shop here my hand lettering journey i got this from etsy and this says she was the warrior you never saw coming again really happy with the pages for this month we do already have uh the next two set up for december i didn't mark them yet but i'll do that after this video but yeah that's surreal fantasy by ikuko i think we're both on target to have this book completed uh sometime in 2022 again that is nothing that i am ever looking to do because i have so many coloring books i want to you know have time to give love to all of them but this has been so much fun working with patty on that um, I'm actually going to be quite happy uh, once I'm done with this and then showing you guys a completed flip through of the various pages that I have. Anyway, that's this coloring book right here. And then the last book of stack one, again, we do have another stack to go after this, is from Nicholas Chandrawinatha's Fantasia. And this was another buddy color with my friend Jen. And we did this page right here. Now, I never link any uh, ones of actual pictures in my videos because I am lazy. <laughs> There's no other reason for it. I am just super lazy. And so if you're interested in just seeing her rendition, I definitely go ahead and check out her Instagram page. But this was really fun. The black background was already there. So that was half the work already. And I I know she wanted hers to look like Jasmine from Aladdin. Uh, I basically did her first. And so I chose blues and then her skin tone. Again, put some freckles on there. And I'm like, okay, so what colors am I going to make that blue pop? And so that's why I chose uh, the purples and the pinks here. I did some gray in the clouds, uh, whited out uh, quite a bit of the lines, and then added some highlight <laughs> to make it look like the moon. I don't think that's how that works, but whatever. It makes me happy to look at. I uh, added some to her butt here and some glow there because that's how light works, apparently, wherever she is. She's on a flying carpet, so we can suspend science for a little bit, I suppose. But I think she's beautiful. She's sparkle-tastic. I liked that my because uh, I think it's several layers of blue ink. Um, one of them was running out, and I like that you can see that there's some texture. I know a lot of people would just have a lot of problems with that because it's not a flat, even wash, but I always just tell my, or my mind tells me, that's just texture. That's just, it makes it interesting. And really, that's what I go for when I'm doing my pages. Does this look interesting, and did I have fun? And yes to both of those. But that's my completed page. Her text says, travel the world over to find the beautiful. And considering how thick this one is, I believe this one is a Tim Holtz sticker. But that's my completed page out of this one, Fantasia by Nicholas C. <laughs> All right, so let me get my other books and we'll start with stack two. All right, so I do have a completed page out of this. This is Hache Heroes Disney Portraits. It's a very mini book. And this one I believe I did, yeah, for Pixies. Pixie Disney coloring and the prompt was Frozen. I actually don't know what little character she chose. I've never seen this movie. Uh, this movie is about sisters and I lost mine um, almost nine years now. And so I'm never going to watch that movie or any of the subsequent movies. But uh, this was actually quite a quick color. Uh, I wanted to keep Cinderella because I do have Cinderella in some of my coloring books from Disney, but I don't have a lot. And just in case it's chosen for a prompt out there, I thought, okay, I'll just do this either in water-based marker or pencil. And just by the look of it, it's just all water-based marker and then just some um, dual hybrid metallic on top of it. This feels like a Tim Holtz sticker, and I say that because they're quite thick. Um, the other one that I showed you just a little while ago, it's it's very thin, so I, I wouldn't be able to feel it as much as I do here. On here, like I said, there's some Tombow water-based marker, dual hybrid, glossy accents. There's also some glaze pen in here and some white gel pen. Um, for her December, I just watched the video 
either last night or early this morning, this movie, In and Out. Uh, I've never seen this one as well, um, but it's the one with all the different emotions for the little girl. Yeah, but I think this is the prompt for uh, December, or if you don't have any Disney-based coloring books, then just color a page that makes you happy. Check out Pixie's channel. Um, she just released the video again like yesterday or today um so yeah i'm glad i'm actually i don't know who this is but yeah um i think she's green yeah i think she's green so i might also do her in either pencil work or uh, maybe even paint because I think this paper can handle paint. But that's my completed page out of this one, Disney Portraits by Hache Hero. All right, so we are going into the home stretch of Grogu in 2022. Uh, the page I completed that was chosen for the group buddy color is this one right here. I've loved seeing all your guys' submissions. I cannot tell you the last time I actually posted a completed page at that hashtag. I love creating hashtags. Again, my Instagram is negative <laughs> because, yeah, I don't feel compelled to post to it. I just like creating things for you guys to post to it because it does make the gallery really fun. Uh, this one was one of those ones where I do Grogu first. Whenever I color in this coloring book, I always do the Baby Yoda first because I know what his colors are going to be. And then I did the sky. I'm like, okay, well, where are you going to go with this now? And then all of the colors from there are just kind of to make both the colors of the foliage pop, but also to make the background pop. I don't think that's actually physically capable. That, that phrase seemed weird. I don't think you can have both the background and the foreground pop because then everything pops. But to me, it actually does. <laughs> it's magical, I guess. <laughs> but the text on the page says, what? Flying chicken nuggets? Grogu had to do a bit of climbing, but it was totally worth it to see these mythical delights. Delicious mythical delights. This is the way. <laughs> and then the final group buddy color for the Grogu in 2022 is this one right here. This was giving me kind of wintry vibes, not necessarily Christmas, although I can see I'm adding some ornaments here if you wanted to. Uh, but this is what we're going to be doing for December. So if you haven't already completed this and you have this book, go ahead and complete and post it to Grogu in 2022. It's going to be the final one for this year. And if you've already completed this page, go ahead and post it to that um, hashtag as well. And if you've already completed and posted and you didn't use that hashtag you can actually edit your hashtag uh, or edit your um, post description to include the hashtag and then it'll show up on the gallery wall but that is Morgan O'Brien's The Way Home a Galactic Coloring Book I did complete a page out of here. This was a buddy color with my friend Disney Megs. Uh, we've done quite a few pages in here and I like to work with her on a monthly basis because she does have her alphabet challenge, but I'm waiting on a book that we're gonna be working on instead for December. And I don't know if we're just gonna continue to focus on that book or just kind of switch back and forth between different books. But the one we did for November is this one right here. And this is Tiana from the frog prince <laughs> i know there's a frog in here uh, i think i've seen this one once it doesn't i don't remember it very well um but i really just wanted to focus on her and considering i just wanted to focus on her it still took me quite a bit of time for the background and so there's lots of different layers of alcohol marker on here and this book is generally going to be an alcohol marker kind of book for me um, but I didn't want to have to focus on all the individual people here so I just kind of made them into shadows and I actually liked how that worked but yeah there's a lot more layers of color on here than you'd think uh, hers is absolutely beautiful I love her colors on it but this was fun um, I don't know that I would ever chosen this page before and only because there's so much of that and not a lot of her. So that's why I really wanted her to stand out because it's really the only thing I was really interested in coloring. But that was my completed page. Thank you, uh, Meg, for doing that with me. And this is Tour de Monde. I did get this from Lyrica.com, although I have seen this on Amazon now. Um, and this is a coloring book by Hache Hero. 
Now this was a buddy color with my girl Chelsea and this is from Coloring Heaven's Gothic Fantasy Special. All the artwork in here is by Enos Guerrero and uh, I've got mixed feelings about this page because overall I'd say it's like 85% for me. And the reason that it's not 100% is because I like the colors that I chose. I did want to go a little bit darker than the regular Disney yellow and blues that these characters are generally in. But where I'm not so happy is I used Derwent Graffy Tint Paint Pans for the majority of the page. And I do like that sketchy kind of graphite look on most of it but it just makes her face look dirty <laughs> that's that's really the only complaint that i have and i did want a bit of uh, grunginess but i don't know that i wanted her to look like she just face planted in some ash <laughs> i don't know i mean he actually has clearer skin than she does and he's the monster or the beast whatever um and i actually i i should have uh, did the uh, rose in a lighter more vibrant pink because i really did want that to stand out that's alcohol marker with some glaze pen on top just to make it shiny everything else is pretty matte on here but yeah, uh, overall, I'm really happy with it. I loved how Chelsea did her rendition. I actually liked that kind of uh, gothic scroll work back there. And that was rather easy to do. It's just graphy tint and then a little bit of uh, alcohol marker on top of that. But overall, I'm happy with the page. But yeah, she just she looked like she fell down. And the photographer's like, no, we need to take the picture. I've got another appointment in like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my completed page. This was actually um, both a buddy color with Chelsea and it went for Olga Rani's Prompt of Beauty and the Beast. And so that's out of Enos Guerrero's Gothic Fantasy Special from Coloring Heaven. I did uh, finish a page in here. This was amazingly gifted to me by Sarah and Darren from Chronic Coloring Down Under for my birthday. And I am doing a group buddy color throughout 2022. Uh, I think I'm going to change up my buddy colors in here or my group buddy colors in here for 2023, but I'll do a separate video announcement for that. And the page that I completed is this one right here. Now this one was done with Inktense paint pans. I love my Inktense paint pans. I actually have not used my Inktense pencils in months. <laughs> my my go-to is the paint pans. And so I did a wash of both her skin, her hair, everything on here with those paints. And then I went on top of that, yeah, so with some Prisma colors, some glaze um, Pentel pens, some dual hybrid, and some twin tone pens actually to do the lettering here. And as blotchy as her skin looks, and again, that's Inktense paint pans, um, I liked how that looked. So I didn't do anything with the skin. And skin for me is an alcohol marker work thing, but this was a gift and I don't want to ruin any pages. And so as much as possible, I'm going to try to use mediums that won't bleed to the other side. And so I think all of the people in here are going to have intense paint pan skin. Um, the hair isn't as crisp as I would like it, but I was doing pencil work on top of the paint work. And there's so much of it, I just like, ugh. I'm over it already <laughs> so I just kind of made it darker in like the edges and then over top of it I used like a kiwi color a prisma color and by the time I was done with it I was kind of done with the page already and then I just did some highlights with the glaze pen and the dual hybrid metallic and then her text says luck is believing you're lucky and that is a quote by Tennessee Williams so that's a group buddy color that if you're following along for Hannah Kay in the City 2022 that we did for November and then the one that I chose for December is the one right behind it uh, this kind of looks Christmas Christmassy to me so I don't know if I'm going to make these into like white poinsettias with greens or if I'm going to make this into red poinsettias or maybe even both uh, if I do white poinsettias then I will have to do the background probably in acrylic paint just to make them pop I haven't decided that yet it's only like the 4th of December so I do have some time 
And I thought this would be really interesting. This so happens to be right behind it. But that is my completed page out of this City Amongst the Stars by Hannah Carlson. Now I did have to take a quick peek at this because it's in the pile of my completed pages, but for the life of me, I could not remember why. But the page I completed is this one. And when I looked at my notes, I'm like, oh, right, right. It was for prompt for Olga. Not surprising there. The prompt was bicycle. And so this was done with Tombow water-based markers, Prismacolors, Dual Harbor Metallic, Distress ink for the background and some glaze pen. And I guess I didn't use alcohol marker because I, I wanted to keep this page. Although looking at it, I could have chosen this for the bicycle work as well. But it was, I don't know that it was a, a quick color, but it was a rather easy color. And you guys know, I will go out of my way <laughs> to do a couple of pages for Ola Rani's prompts. I, like I said, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it, but I am. Oh, I want to see why I chose this page, but this is a buddy color that I'm doing with Poet. I know I started this sometime last year. And yeah, that's that's the status of it. <laughs> I wonder if this would fit a prompt. Right now, Olga Rani's weekly prompt is doors, but there are no doors on here. So yeah, that'll stay a whip for whatever. But that is Rita Berman's Monoriza de Europa. I did have a buddy color in this with my girl Tammy. Again, the reason I chose this page was for Olga Rani's Beauty and the Beast. And so the page we completed was Beauty and the Beast. I did go with more of the Disney colors. The page here is just whatever. But I did use the yellows and the blues. And this is alcohol marker work for me. I am perfectly fine sacrificing this page. I can still use this as sort of a reference, especially since I don't know this story, um, but also know that I can use this as a reference or I can just go whatever way I want to. Sometimes when I'm in a clinch and like this one, I didn't finish until the very end of November. I like having a reference palette just because, okay, I don't have to really have to think about this because I can just use that and just kind of mirror some of the elements that I want to. I'm, I'm very happy with this. I don't know that I'll be doing a lot of alcohol marker work in here, but alcohol marker work is definitely faster than pencil work. And sometimes when I'm in a crunch, even though this prompt was available for three months, I told Olga that in my email to her that I know it's three month uh, timeframes that we had, but I did all of the pages the latter part of November <laughs> because I'm a procrastinator from way, way back. But anyway, it was really fun buddy color with my friend uh, Tam me. And so that's another page out of here. This is Doming's World Fairy Tales. And I did get this from Amazon Japan. I do have a completed page out of this one. This is, I always struggle with this one. Kamo's fashionable coloring book, Tokimaki Marsh. I don't know who the artist is. I've yet to look that up and Let's just say I'm never going to, but this I did get from Amazon Japan. I didn't write any notes down because I just looked at this page, uh, but I did this page here for Olga Rani's prompt of dolphin. It was done with, well, I know there's some dual harbor metallic on here. I know there is some Tombow water-based marker. I don't know if there's some paint. It looks like this blue was done in paint, but I couldn't tell you what, because again, I didn't write any notes down. But I like this uh, book because the paper is rather thick. As you can see, there's not even any ghosting. Oh no, that's not, that's not true. It looks like anywhere where there was water-based marker and then uh, dual hybrid metallic, there's some ghosting on top of that. But I can color this page uh, no problem, even with the ghosting there, and not worry about it. I don't get too fussed about stuff like that, because let's like, say there is a prompt for Olga of juggling, or there's a uh, coloropoly of star or, or something, then I would just color the elements that I want to color, and if there's ghosting, well, there's ghosting. I mean... It's not like the coloring book police are going to arrest me or find me or something. So, yeah, I mean, if I can, I'd like to avoid it. But if it happens, it happens. I'm not going to cry over that or buy another book or think I've ruined it because, 
why <laughs> but that's my completed page out of this one uh, fashionable walk it's basically these two characters doing some shopping and then having a picnic afterwards but that's this page right here now this was another birthday gift from Sarah and Darren of Chronic Coloring Down Under. This is the Secretly and Happily Coloring Book. Again, I don't know who the artist is, but she had sent this to me from Book Depository for my birthday this year. And the page I completed in here, again, was for another Olga Rani prompt of bicycle. I did put a bit of the horizon line in there just so that I could denote uh, where the sky and the land met up. Um, I did add some of this pathing work here because it didn't make sense otherwise. Though now looking at it, I should have put a path here because that's where they're actually walking. But whatever, <laughs> whatever. I'm not an artist, so you know, I just did what made sense to me. And this actually did take quite a bit of time. So there's some alcohol marker on here, some ink tents, paint pan, some white gel. The finding color prompt for Olga was bicycle. But it is a single-sided book, so it's okay to do the um, alcohol marker in here so that you don't feel like you're sacrificing the, the page. I actually kind of like how that looks. So yeah, anywhere you don't see a lot of um, alcohol marker, it's because that's where the paint is. Now, I don't know if you can tell the element that I did last, but it's that. <laughs> because by the time I got to here, I'm like, oh, geez, Louise, I'm done with this page. So yeah, it shows it. <laughs> but I'm actually really happy with this. Um, I really like this coloring book. It's really pretty. I think I filmed a flip through, but I don't know that I actually posted it. Yeah, I'll have to look through my video library both on my phone and on my YouTube channel. But again, a birthday gift from Sarah and Darren of Chronic Coloring Down on, Under, and this is Secretly and Happily, and I know she sent this from Book Depository to me. I completed a page out of this one, Mythographic Voyage. I believe this is my very first uh, completed page in here. And this was a group buddy color with my girls Deb, Poet, and Pixie. And um, the only reason I have this page completed, and I'm sorry if there's a glare on the washi tape, is because this was a, a prompt <laughs> for Olga. Surprise. And the prompt was Planet. Now, I'd actually started this before that prompt was chosen, but I decided to finish this <laughs> because that prompt was chosen. And so it's mostly... Yeah, it's mostly alcohol marker work. I wanted to keep her astronaut suit uh, white. So there's just some blue and gray highlights in there. There's a bunch of Winkostella. I believe I had this coloring book at work. I believe I'm going to take this back to work because I think I might keep all of my mythographics there because for some reason it's easier for me to do a little bit during lunch every day than sit down here and do it. I, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really happy with it. By the time I got to the planets, I realized planets fall into the category of birds and bugs. I don't really like coloring them, but it was actually the prompt for the week. <laughs> so I'm like, well... You gotta lean into it, I guess. But that's my completed page out of this one, a Voyage, a Mythographic Coloring Book, and the artwork is by Joseph Kantenbaum. And then my final completed page is out of this one, a World History Coloring Book. And I believe this is a tracing coloring book, and this is by Erie. And this was a group buddy color, or a buddy color with my friend Tammy. And, uh, can you guess why we did this page? Yeah, it was a prompt for Olga of Planet. <laughs> and I had done this. Oh, I didn't write it down. Of course not. But I remember doing this like the very first week of November. And I had just come off of October and I colored all the way through Halloween. And I don't know that I necessarily wanted to color something this intense right in the beginning of November because I was a bit colored out. But it was a fur prompt. And the thing about this book is... I feel the compulsion to outline everything before I actually color anything. And so it's like double the work almost. I think I use water-based marker. Yeah, so there's a little bit of ghosting right here. And that's some glaze pen. 
Just by the finish, I think there might be either some ink tents on here or some kind of paint because it's kind of watercolored e to me. And then, yeah, I think there's otherwise, oh no, I see some pencil work in here. I see some dual hybrid metallic and some glaze pen. There's some sparkle there, either from Wink of Stella or Spectrum Sparkle. So yeah, it's, it's fairly simple and yet it still did take a little bit of time, but of course I made my deadline because I seem to be able to work better under pressure, even though it gives me stress. <laughs> Oh, but that's that's not a new thing for me. Just if you watch any of my planner videos where I timed them, you'll know I, I seem to be into that. But that's my completed page out of this one. Thank you, Tammy, uh, for completing this page with me. And that's from World History, a tracing coloring book by Erie. All right, so like I said, that is my final uh, completed page for this video. I'll go ahead and get my coloring book reference journal, and we'll, I'll be right back. All right, this is my Maisie Lane Co. Um, a5 bullet journal that I'm using predominantly for my coloring book hobby. I did cover it in a plastic cover, that's why the glare. And um, at the time, uh, while she was still selling these journals, you could get it personalized, but she's no longer doing bullet journals, which is fine. Uh, I'm happy with the work that I have. But this is my coloring book section. And you guys know I don't put goals uh, for myself, either by way of number of pages, number of books, any of that. But there are just certain things I do like to focus on. And so that's what I have here. I will be doing another one of these for 2023. And I'll probably base that based on this right here. So I did not, yet again, complete a page out of Opal. Although I am eyeing a couple of pages for Olga Rani's Prompt of Snow, which is... Um, a month and a half, so you have until January 15th. Uh, I did complete a Zan von Zed. I did complete a Carlo Magana. I did two mythographics. I did an eerie page. No, Joanna Basford, I don't think. No reptiloids. Ikuko, yes. 10 by 10 could have been eerie or mythographic. And I did do the Hannah Carlson book, which is a hardback book. Um, Again, did not do Corey's alphabet challenges. Although, honestly, I don't know if she even still does that. I don't know if she's gotten to the end of the alphabet yet. Hollow New Year, uh, I think that one's actually over. So I should do that in pink, but I'm here right now. Uh, Hughes of 2022, that's actually going to be for this month. Random color generator, no. One color challenge. Yeah, I don't think I did that either. Fantasy for Tammy's 50th, really could have been any of the pages. Pixies, Disney coloring, yes. Meg's ABC color challenge, yes, although I didn't post to Instagram. Grogu in 2022, yes. Morgan O. Scavenger Hunt, that was a yes. The scavenger hunt prompt for November was bird. And in the Grogu 2022 page, uh, there was a bird on there. There's actually two. Fairy tales and stories, that was yes. Again, I didn't post to Instagram, I just, I could have. Coloring the Year of the Tiger, no. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could have made something work, but yeah, let's just say no. Hannah K in the City, uh, because I did do a Hannah K page, that would count for that. Oh no, the one I did was for that. And then for the other hashtag I created, Reach for the Stars, Hannah K 2022, um, that one would have counted as well. So, not bad. And the way that I had thought I was going to do this is I had all of this information in the front part of this. And I was just going to transfer it over. But I think going forward, I'm going to do this a little bit differently for 2023. I'm still thinking about how I'm going to be doing that. Uh, but yeah, so just stay tuned because I will show this again. Uh, I usually only show this um, book to you guys at the end of my completed coloring pages video. Uh, I do have my untouched coloring books for 2022, and I actually will be doing this again because I have quite a few more, not even on this list, uh, coloring books that I have not touched yet, and so I do want to make a list for 2023. But uh, Entangled Landscapes, yes, finally completed the dreams of dragons i do want to get to i do have another buddy color with poet um, in that one mythographic voyage yes 
And then Ville Sauvage, um, a comic book I bought from Lyrica, is still a no. So out of my list of 21 untouched coloring books I had up to May of 2022, I'm on target to have at least one completed page in there. Now, it would make sense to put that um, information for 2023 here, but I think what I'm gonna do here is do some thoughts on um, if any of these books I'm going to keep, if any of these I'm going to get rid of, um, and then, because I, I do want to have that much space, I do this spread some more else in here. Okay, so there was a prompt of dolphin, and I did. And I didn't write down, but there was a prompt of coin, and there was a prompt of currently, oh, and bear. Oh, that's for November. And I didn't complete that in, oh no, that's for December. I didn't complete that until December. Sorry, I'm having a major brain fart because I don't know what these are. But I'll look at her channel and I'll write that in. I did complete the Beauty and the Beast prompt. Uh, the next one is from December through January 15th, 2023. And the prompt of that is snow so I'm, I am working on some of those and then I'm so bummed I did not see Sarah's call out for Coloropoly for November I just assumed there wasn't one because she was having some issues medically and I just figured she just finally taking the time for her own self-care but there was and the only reason I knew that is because I was watching someone's video and they said oh and I did this for um Coloropoly for November. I'm like, whoa, 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 what? And so I looked and lo and behold, there was a call out towards, I think it was done on Halloween or right before Halloween. And then there was the rolls. And I'm like, I, I miss both of those. I don't know how I did it, but I did. So I will resume this one here um, back in January, February when they resume the game again. Because I know they take uh, the winter season off. And I know the latter part of this year has just been really difficult for her and the family. So I'm down whenever, <laughs> but I'll definitely need to uh, kind of stalk her page uh, when it gets close to the end of December or the close of the end of the month for any of month, just to make sure that I don't miss it again. And I think that's all. Again, I do have some pages that are already prepped, which is good um, because that way when I finally figure out how I'm going to track some things that I want to track, the pages are just waiting for me. Well, guys, that's it for me for now. Did you have a completed page in the pages that I showed you? I would love to know in the comment section below. All right. Well, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.